Welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey. And today I'm going to be talking about my Black Bay 58. Finally made the purchase. I uh, got the cheapest one I could find on uh, the planet. I think it was came out to 1800 US, the final, uh, plus shipping, this and that. All in with the, the bracelet and everything that I had to purchase. Uh, everything under 300 Cana 3000 Canadian. So I would say that's pretty pretty good deal. Here's the watch here, and but this is not the condition that the watch had come in, uh, and it was just the watch head basically. So there's the watch that I'm going to be uh, going in a little bit of detail about. But anyway, Black Bay 58 blue. What a fantastic watch! I would highly recommend it to anybody if uh, that's within your budget. Uh, typically, if you walk into an AD in, uh, here in Canada you're going to be looking at a little over uh, $5,000 uh, to purchase one of these. But uh, yeah, so we'll talk about my journey. Uh, you'll see the pictures in the very beginning. That's what the watch looked like uh, when I received it. Uh, it looked like uh, maybe uh, Edward Scissorhands was the previous owner. There were scratches all over this thing. Uh, but uh, anyway, the, the deal worked out fine. The seller was awesome. He understood that, you know, the watch was pretty scratched up and uh i was gonna return it and then we figured something out and he returned a couple hundred bucks back to me so everything was good thank you so much for working with me on that i appreciate that you know it's always good to deal with individuals that are fair and sensible um by the way i did put the watch on my time grapher and the watch is running within cosk uh, mechanically the watch was a hundred percent uh yeah Tudor, the in-house movement is, is a very good, reliable movement. So thumbs up there. So I'm not going to get uh, bore you guys anymore. Let's uh, flip the camera around and show you the watch and how it turned out with a little bit of uh, polishing and a little bit of elbow grease. All right. So here we go. All right, guys. Well, you saw the pictures of the Black Bay 58 that I had purchased and it was uh, pretty beaten up, as you can see. It was a little more beat up than I had anticipated. I purchased the watch for just a little over 2,000 US plus a small trade. And I contacted the seller and I said, look, you know what? The watch is in much worse shape than I had anticipated. So we talked back and forth. So he discounted the watch a further 200 uh, US dollars, which was great. I was happy with that rather than selling watches back, uh, sending watches back and forth. But anyway, uh, you can see the watch uh, was pretty badly scratched up. Uh, the sapphire gla glass and the uh, uh, the bezel, which is made of, I believe, aluminum or stainless. I'm not sure which one. But anyway, it was undamaged as well. But after spending some time polishing the watch up, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to show you the watch here. This is what it looks like now. And uh, I think I'm pretty much done with it. Originally, I wasn't going to go high polish. I was just going to kind of leave it matte. But, uh, you know, I thought, you know what, let's just go with the extra stage and uh, let's get that all polished up. I'll do some close-up uh, pictures for you um, or video for you anyway. So you can see what the watch has actually turned out like uh, under a closer inspection. But I'm very pleased with it. Now, you can see that it's on a... A, a bracelet now this is an aftermarket bracelet that i i purchased and uh it's a very um well it's kind of a copy of the original it's even got the markings uh tutor um but uh it's a good one and you can see it's got the detents here as well made of ceramic and i'll just show you how that mechanism works so you can see if that's something that you're interested in purchasing i think that looks pretty sharp but anyway, uh, this is the strap that the watch had come on, and uh, it's not even a, a original Tudor uh, strap. So just a regular NATO strap that looks like the Tudor, but it's not. So basically what I purchased was basically just the watch. I didn't come with any box or papers either. Uh, the gentleman that I got it from got it in on a, as a trade, and he just wanted to move it on. So anyway, here's the watch on the aftermarket bracelet. And uh, I also purchased the Artem strap for it as well, uh, which looks fantastic. So uh, if you guys have don't know about Artem, I would highly recommend the Artem strap. I'll just show you kind of what that's going to look like on the watch. And you tell me that uh, that doesn't look great. So 
that's what it would look like with the Artem strap on. I'm not going to do this swap right now, but let's show up the, let's just show the watch a little bit closer. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to show you what was used. So wet sandpaper, as you can see, this is 7,000 grit. That's to get the watch to the high polish. All right. So wet sandpaper. So you, you obviously wet it with the surfaces and you can, uh, sand it away uh, and it will bring it to high polish. The other products that I used were much like uh, Scotch-Brite pads, but these are from my place of work um, and they're different uh, coarseness. This is a little more coarse, this is more fine, and you just kind of work away on it uh, till the scratches are gone or the bulk of the scratches are gone. But the thing you need to watch out for is try to preserve the edges here. You don't want to get those rounded off. So some people tape it off. Uh, I don't, I just make sure that I'm keeping a, a flat uh, plane when I'm uh, doing my polishing work. And I would say all in all, it took me, uh, I'm gonna say a total of about two hours to get the watch to the state that it's in right now. But anyway, uh, enough talking about it. Let's show you what the watch turned out like and see what you guys think. And again, remember, take a look at those pictures, what it looked like before, it was pretty beat. So this is uh, pretty, very close up, as close up as I can get with this camera anyway. So here you are. So this is the side of the case. Just gonna, just kind of buff that up a little bit for you guys. And you can see there, looks pretty good. Uh, actually, I'm introducing more scratches now with this damn microfiber cloth, but anyway, it will polish out. So you can see that it turned out pretty nice. And originally I had that matte, but I continued polishing because I wanted to show you guys. I can return it back to matte very easily as well, just by running a, a, one of these Scotch-Brite pads across it again. So you can see there's a corner of the lugs. You can see I've, I've retained the line there, so that looks good. And same thing with this one here, not bad. Okay, I didn't actually pull the crown out. The proper way to do it, if you really want it to go full on, is uh, pulling out the crown, but that would involve opening up the case. And you know what, it just wasn't in the mood. And you can see there, looks good. Luckily, the, 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 the sapphire glass was perfect uh, and the, the bezel here was undamaged as well. So all in all, uh, I'm very pleased with the results. Oh, the case back. Just let me cover up the, the number there. See, you can see the case back looks a hell of a lot better too. It's got fingerprints on it, but that's okay. So you can see with a little bit of work, uh, you can uh, turn uh, a beater into something quite nice if you just spend the time. And like I said, I, I just kind of reintroduced because the microfiber uh, cloth wasn't very clean. Uh, some minor scratches, but uh, let's see if I got something I can just kind of... <laughs> my sweater. <laughs> okay, but anyway, there you go. Um, so what do you guys think? Um, I think for the... 1800 us plus that small trade uh which was worth about probably about 200 250 us um uh, i think i did well um yeah so that's it that's a wrap if you guys uh need more information on how i polish it and so on uh please i'm more than happy to to give information out to you guys and this bracelet like i think looks really fantastic i, I really like it it's very true to the original minus the faux rivets which Actually, most people don't like those rivets, so you can see there, uh, give it a nice, cleaner aesthetic. So there you have it. My budget Tudor Black Bay 58 Blue. And uh, I'm keeping this one. This one's not going to be sold. Uh, I really like this watch. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so uh, any questions? Like I said, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to reach, uh, give you information if you require it. And uh, that's it. That's a wrap. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one, guys.